Today in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a multi-view uh, or orthographic uh, sketch using orthographic paper. Right, so first we've got to look at the shape. It's already shown. The uh, front view is this one. The right view would be here and the top view would be here. Because of the way it's drawn I can already tell uh, what is supposed to be the front view. All right, so then I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over here, 2, 4, 6, and I'm going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, go over on the top here, 1, 2, And then I'm going to connect the two. Right. Next, I'm going to draw the next part of the surface. Notice I have an object line here because it changes depth. Right. So that's why I went ahead and drew this first part, and then I'm going to draw this next part. Okay. So I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, two, four. On the bottom, one, two, three. Right, I can go up, one, two, three. And then I'm going to connect those two. Okay, right, so I'm done with the front view. Okay, now I want to do the top view. I'm going to use some construction lines just to show you that I want it to project on the same lines. Okay, notice I'm going to have these lined up. So the top view, I count one, two, three, four. So using on that same uh, lines, let me go one, two, three, four. And I count over one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I'm going to go ahead and draw this surface first. So two, two, so two, two, and two. And then we connect these. Okay, the next edge I can see would be this one here, right? We're going to have an edge here because we have a change of distance from here to here. So using some construction lines, I can kind of like draw those up. It's kind of hard to see these, that's why I'm trying to kind of sketch them. But right here, I'm going to have another object line. And then, just like you can see this edge, I'm going to connect those. Okay. I also have a line here that's going to show up. It's from here to here, we have a change of depth. And it's going to line up right here with this construction line I already drew. Okay, so that's what my top view is going to look like. Now I'm ready to draw my right view. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and use these construction lines so that I can see where I'm going to have some edges. I want to keep those lined up. I'll start with this side of it. So it's one, two, three by one, two. two, and then three. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish off that edge because I have an edge here. And it changes the depth from here to here. And I can tell it's going to line up with those construction lines. And that's what my right side so far, the right side of the right side is going to look like. Now I have to show this. 
we only have a change of depth from here to here. Right? So yes, I need these object lines because from here to here is this change of depth. So I'm going to have an edge. And then um, on this side, it's just going to be one straight. Right? It's too deep. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay, I'm going to do another practice problem on the next video. And this uh, next one is going to have a circle in it.